what's going on this is my review for bmf season three episode five and this episode was pure comedy i mean what is going on man they have some good scenes and then they got scenes that's just horrible i mean so goofy the henrietta scene that's when i said man they can't get no worse than this man when she was about to fight the dude and she cut herself on the side to prove that she tough. And I'm watching, I'm like, yo, what are they thinking writing something like this? And then not only to write something like that, but then to actually shoot it and watch that in the editing room and think that's good. That wasn't the only goofy, goofy scene though, man. Charles busts out and starts sinking. Bruh, they got two of the best actors on this show with the actor that's playing Charles and the actor that's the actress that's playing Lucille. They couldn't even make that scene great. It got good towards the end of the scene, but when he bust out and started singing, I'm like, yo, <laughs> they must be stopped. The people in that writing room must be stopped because it ain't the actors. It ain't those actors. They can act. Now, stacks passing away, two chains, titty boy, horrible, <laughs> horrible. You could tell he never acted for real at all, and then it looked like it was somebody else's body that was shaking. It just was. I'm like, yo, dude, what what is going on, man? But besides those three scenes, that was just super bad. Oh, before we get to the other parts, you also had Brian's son. They knew they was going to knock him off, right? So think about this from a writing standpoint. They know they are about to take out Brian's son. They know how it's going to end for him. Why you got to put that he get essayed um, in jail? Why you got to put that in there? You just got to throw that in there. See, that's how they want us, man. They be trying to emasculate. <laughs> I swear for God, man. The men and the boys especially the black man and black boys in all of these movies and stuff. I'd be seeing it and I'd be like, yo, what is going on? I was watching the Breakfast Club interview with Candace Owens and salute to the Breakfast Club and salute to Candace Owens. When they was on her, she said something that was very important and it was something that I feel consistently when I watch these movies and TV shows. She was like, yo, she hates when they emasculate the black boys and males in all of these movies and the images that they be putting out there on the red carpet and all of that stuff. I feel the exact same way. It's a horrible representation of us. When I say I mean horrible, dog. That don't represent us at all. And to be real, it almost make me want to stop reviewing this show all together just the whole presentation of the show but i'm just keeping it going because i started it you know so i'm gonna finish it but man you know only show i ever cut was all american homecoming i just couldn't i said man no 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 i can't i can't do it but um some of the good stuff i i started with the bad usually i always start with the good but i started with the bad some of the good stuff in um scenes that they showed that I think is pivotal was when Lucille, it was her cousin or her friend, seen Charles out with the uh, church choir chick, and she goes and reports to Lucille that he's still out messing around and she need to leave him for the doctor. That was a great scene because it just goes to show you, man, you can't be listening to your friends and making decisions off of what they think they didn't see. You got to sit back and get the whole truth of the story. Don't just be moving off of your friends, especially if they single. Because a lot of times, friends be wanting you to be single with them. So now, ooh, I got my, my girl back. I got my homie back. I got my dog back. We back out in the streets. You know, so sometimes you got to kind of not listen to your friends, right? Then you also got uh, T and Meech down in Atlanta which I thought it was dope to see them together for an episode, and they worked together well. T was really on his square because 
he's really what helped Meech survive this episode. And then, of course, the other Detroit boys that came down our hoops and the rest of them that came down, they came through in the clutch because it was going down in that um, projects in Tech Woods. And them Miami dudes didn't care a lick about who they hit. It was girls trying to get in the house. They took them out. It was a, a little boy that, that was just out there doing something he shouldn't have been doing at all. He ends up getting hit. So this is actually going to might make Tech Wood and Meech work together a little longer. Even though because of Ty, it's not like they could just come all the way together. But, man, that scene was good. That the, the shooting scene up until Stax getting knocked off. That was uh, pretty good. It was pretty intense. And while they had that shooting scene going on, they going back and forth with Henrietta shooting up um, uh, Veronica, Bryant, and Kobe. Detective Kobe gone, too. That's crazy. But when I was watching the episode, and she was, like, super excited and just having a good time during the episode, I'm thinking to myself, man, I don't know if she going to make it. <laughs> Because I'm telling you, when they be writing people to just be, like, having a great time, perfect, something typically go wrong, she ended up getting knocked off. So that was crazy. And then you also had an incident at the beginning when Stax uh, convinced Meech to fight the Techwood dudes in the strip club. That led to somebody getting knocked off. So it's just, like, one of them things where you cannot be listening to people and everybody truly ain't on your side. But I liked how they portrayed the Stax character with him being like, yeah, let's go get him. When they was talking in the room and all of that, usually those be the guys that you can't trust because they just too anxious to prove themselves to you. They just too anxious to get into something that ain't good for business. None of this is good for money. So I like how they portrayed Stacks doing those scenes. Uh, Two Chains still can't act, but I like the writing and how they was portraying it. Like this is how the person act that's gonna betray you. These are the people that's always want to get into stuff. And Stacks betrayed Meech, you know, but they was able to figure it out all because the stripper Angel came through. She came through in the clutch. She dancing and. Meets the hit her in the strip club, raw dog, you know, just nasty, right? But they did that, came through in the clutch for him and end up saving the day. So all of those things was good. I am looking forward to Southwest T getting back to the D because now that Brian's son then got done dirty by Henrietta and then Henrietta then went and shot at him and Detective Veronica, I think, Bryant and Veronica gonna come together uh the next episode especially when she figure out what happened to his son it's gonna just be uh I mean it's gonna be an emotional scene and them coming back together and I think she gonna forgive him because she gonna understand obviously he was doing all of this stuff to try to save his son and he couldn't save his son in time you know and then with what happened to Kobe she gonna be out for blood anyway you know, T returning back. So I can actually see Bryant and uh, Southwest T making a truce for the time being to come against Henrietta, you know. But um, I'm looking forward to that. And then, of course, her dad is probably going to be somebody that's going to uh, come into the fold probably next season or the end of this season, you know. So that should be the good parts of BMF, man. But it... it <laughs> It's very hit or miss, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode and some of them scenes. Because the episodes be good, and then they just throw you for a loop and have a crazy scene. And you're like, yo, what is this? You know, so that, at least that's how I'm feeling. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling. As always, if this your first time here, make sure you sub to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. Y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.